One of the use cases that I know is top of mind or should be top of mind for every data leader out there right now is, is cost and cost optimization in particular. You know, controlling cloud compute and storage costs is something that is absolutely critical, especially where the macroeconomic conditions are heading or you know, lack of uh, certainty of where the macroeconomic conditions are heading. Um, cost optimization, I think, comes down to something really critical that a data catalog can enable. You know, at Atlin, we're really focused on things like usage and utilization or popularity, as we would call it. Popularity meaning which of those assets are actually being used by who, how often, and what is the, the level of um, you know, performance that we're getting out of particular queries against tables and things like this. So capturing that additional usage and utilization metadata allows users of a catalog to see, hey, this table hasn't been touched, uh, you know, it's just sitting idle, can we delete this? Can we mark it for deprecation? Uh, or this table was used by everybody in the organization, but it has a query that is running against it that is a very low performance and is actually driving a lot of our cloud compute costs. So having cost optimization tied into that broader perspective that a data catalog can provide into your data state is absolutely critical, especially where we're going today uh, in these economic conditions. The coolest piece of this is being able to automate that process. So rather than kind of looking for a needle in a haystack, why not just automate the alerts directly to the user saying, you know, if a table gets a certain amount of usage or utilization, it's, it's a certain amount of popularity, uh, just let them know. Uh, and if it's the opposite, right, it's being underused or not used at all, send that same alert or automatically sift through the ecosystem to find those less popular assets and we can mark them for deprecation again, for example. Thanks for watching that video. If you'd love to learn more about Atlin or you just want to see a product demo or talk to someone on our sales team, make sure you follow the links in the description below. If you love the video, smash that like button and please subscribe to our channel. We'll be putting out clips like this all the time. There's probably already clips on the screen that I know you want to watch. Thanks everyone.